let's get into it. Let me show you all the books that help me, you know, take care of myself, you know, because self-care is important. And, you know, we love books, period. Sometimes the universe puts someone in your life just to take them out and re make you realize, like, damn, I got to work on myself. I got to put myself first. Sometimes I'm like, universe, where's my boyfriend? But the universe is like, are you even ready for one? Love that. I'm a reading queen, girl. Look at all the books I got. Ugh. That's not all of them. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to Suwana Self Care Sunday, episode two. This week, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the books that help me throughout my self-care journey because you guys know I'm bringing you guys along especially with this series and basically I'm going to be sharing with you a decent amount of books that help me through my self-care journey um, help me learn more about myself what I want in life um, structure and all good things so I thought I would share it with you guys all this is gonna go is I'm gonna share with you guys the book I'm going to give a rating and I'm going to give an explanation as to how this book has affected me, helped me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Let me show you all the books that help me, you know, take care of myself, you know, because self-care is important. And, you know, we love books, period. All right, the first book that I'm going to be sharing is this book called The Proven Power of Being Kind to Yourself, Self-Compassion by Kristen Neff which looks like this. This book was actually recommended to me by my therapist because we were working on self-care and being more self-compassionate towards myself um, because I was always so focused on what's the next thing I'm going to do and I was never compassionate towards myself and I never took the time to feel my emotions and be compassionate towards myself and this book really helped me see the importance of comforting myself um, being compassionate and loving myself through the hard times, the good times, um, and also being self-compassionate towards my inner child. I've been also working on healing my inner child and trying to become the best version of myself and being compassionate towards myself. And this book has really given me little tips and tricks on how to be more self-compassionate. One of them I'm going to share with you guys is, especially when you're having a bad day, comfort yourself. You know, sometimes you go to someone for a hug, but like there's nothing wrong in hugging yourself. Like give yourself a hug and tell yourself like, hey, it's going to be OK. You're going to get through this. And this helps you get through your problem. Um, so, yeah, I really liked this book. Thank you to my therapist. Love her. And this book was really good and eye opening. And it really started my self-compassionate journey as well and being more compassionate and Cutting myself some slack because I can be so hard on myself. So this book I give a 9 out of 10. So good. Um, it was an easy read. I actually bought the physical and um, I have the audiobook as well. Some books I don't have physically but I have on my phone because I do listen to an audiobook. One of my goals for this year is to read 10 minutes every single day. So yeah, love this book. Really transformative. We love it and... I recommend. The next book that I recommend and that helped me through my self-care journey is Atomic Habits by James Clear. I don't have it physically because I have it electronically on my little books app, but this book is called Atomic Habits, but the whole title is Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. This this book helped me create a good routine and create little habits that will get me to my goals. And it talks all about the importance of creating good habits, breaking bad ones, and also by creating little habits and little steps, you every day you work on your goal and then it helps you achieve it. And also it puts the importance on making sure that whatever goal or whatever you want to achieve that you make it easy because if you make it super hard like i want to be an astronaut and go in space in two months girl that's not gonna happen okay we gotta we gotta slow your roll this book really helped me 
create little habits to get to my goals and that every day I work towards the goal um, and it shows the importance of taking it step by step and not only focusing on the end the end focus on the little steps until you get to your goal so um, because of this book I have a habit tracker on my notion and in my journal and I keep track of all the little habits that I want that align with the goals that I want, like being healthier, being at home in my body, becoming the true adult that I want, etc. So that book has been literally life changing. And the rating that I give it is 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. That book is so good. Atomic Habits? <laughs> Love that book. The next book that I recommend is the book called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna Yeast? Weist? Sorry, I'm saying the name wrong. This, honestly, this author is really good. There's another book that I loved by her and I forgot the name. But this book basically has just a bunch of essays that just kind of, honestly, put you in your place. <laughs> like, this book really put me in my place. Like, see the importance of how you think, how you act, and, like, your place in the universe. And I feel like this book really just showed me to pursue my passion and create a good routine that will help me become the true version of myself. Um, and yeah, I give this book a 7 out of 10. Um, the only reason why I don't rate it a little higher is because it got long at one point. It is 101 essays, but really good. Loved it. And yeah, really recommend. The next book that I totally recommend that also helped me through my self-care journey is the book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Um, this book really attacked me, but in a good way, and just showing that, like, don't listen to what other people gotta say. If you wanna be an artist, be an artist and work on yourself, and don't care what other people say, because <laughs> haters gonna hate, and a lot of times, they're going through their own shit. So, it really showed me to just put myself first, do what I want, and not care what people have to say. And that book was so good. I listened to the audiobook, and, like, I was so excited every day to read it just because it was so good. And honestly, in 2021 is really when I started, like, my reading journey. Um, because before, I kind of slacked on reading just because I had school and a lot of readings with school. So I never had the time to read my own book that isn't school related. But especially that I graduated um, in 2021, I've been having way more time to read. And last year, I think I read 20... I think 30 books or 20, 20 something books. And this year my goal is to read 24, so two books a month. And so far I'm doing pretty good. I actually read three, so we love that. I'm a reading queen, girl. Look at all the books I got. Ugh. That's not all of them. <laughs> the next book that I recommend is called Discovering Your Inner Child by Shakti. I can't say her last name. But this book, I read it recently, actually, like, in 2022. And the reason why I recommend it is, especially if you want to work on your inner self um, and your inner child, to be more specific, I've been really working on healing my inner child, listening to my inner child. And this book really helped me understand how my inner child is. And also, in the book, it's a really short book, first of all. We love a short book. It just gets to the point. But also, it includes a meditation. And that meditation just kind of helps you connect with your inner child and speak to your inner child so if you like you know meditation spiritual vibes totally read that book um and yeah i listened to the audiobook it was so quick and it was so good and that meditation was iconic um so we love that and that book i give it a 9 out of 10 i really loved the meditation that was in it and i'm trying to meditate like at least once a week um but yeah. the next book that I recommend and that also really helped me through my self-care journey is actually the book that I'm reading right now. I'm not even done. I'm not even done the book. And I love it. And I'm obsessed already. Um, the book is called A Gentle Reminder by Bianca Paracino. Um, I'm literally, I don't even think I'm halfway done the book. Um, and it's so good. I'm at chapter 5 and there's 12 chapters. So I'm almost halfway there. And the book is so good. It just gives you a lot of reminders on loving yourself, the importance of taking care of yourself and putting yourself first, and not always bashing the universe. Sometimes the universe puts someone in your life 
just to take them out and re make you realize like, damn, I gotta work on myself. I gotta put myself first. These books really put me in my place and reminded me like, damn girl, you gotta work on yourself, put yourself first, stop people pleasing and get your shit together. Cause nobody else is gonna do it but you. So that book really did that. Um, I'm not even done yet, but it's already so good. Um, and I totally recommend, I give it a nine out of 10. I'm not even done the book. But I give it a 9 out of 10 and I recommend especially. It just gives you little reminders on putting yourself first. All about love, um, kindness, and being true to yourself and putting yourself first. And that's really important. So I totally recommend and that really helped me just kind of put myself first and really just like stop blaming the universe. Sometimes I'm like, universe, where's my boyfriend? But the universe is like, are you even ready for one? So yeah, that book made me realize that. So they gave me a little reminder. The last book that I'm going to recommend is The Secret. I feel like a lot of people talked about it, um, but it really just talks about the law of attraction and putting out in the universe what you want to attract um, and putting love and kindness in the world so that you can attract that. Um, and I'm actually gonna show a little quote from the book that really just kind of sums up why this book helped me. It says, the law of attraction states that whatever you focus on, think about, read about, talk about intensely, you're going to attract more of it into your life. So this book really helped me focus on me, put myself first, um, and just kind of work on what I want to attract. So I'm going to put out what I want to attract. And I really, th that book kind of really put that in my brain that like, if I want people to be nice to me, I got to be nice to others. If I want prosperity, kindness, I need to give that. I need to project that. And I need to give that vibe. But um, yeah, also I have some honorable mentions. I have this book. This is my favorite poem book. Um, and it's called Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. Um, this is almost, I think it's a New York, yeah, it's a New York Times bestseller. And it's just a poem book about heartbreak, breakups, hurting, loving, healing, um, and it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, and this book got me into reading more poems and more, more poetry books. Um, like this one, The Perks of Solitude by Kat, Caitlin Kelly. And this is just all about like breakups, which I have never been in a break. I've been in a friendship breakup, but, um, this kind of helps you. This just shows the importance of taking time for yourself to heal and putting yourself first. So this book really helped. And then I also have this book called Your Dream Life Starts Here and S Essential and Simple Steps to Creating the Life of Your Dreams by Christina Carlson. Carlson. And this just kind of helps you kind of plan your life. This book helps you figure out what you want in life and what you want your dream life to be. And I feel like this kind of helped me, especially I feel like right now I'm in a transitional period into and I'm working on becoming my true adult self. So I feel like that kind of helped me. That book helped me kind of figure things out and what I want in life when it comes to career, health, and all my goals and aspirations. So yeah, those are all the books that helped me through my self-care journey, figuring myself out, healing my inner child, healing myself, figuring out my brain, figuring out myself. Therapy also really helped. But in this video, I'm talking about books. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you guys want me to share more books or share um, just more books in general or do more book videos because I've been really on a book kick um, and I've been reading a lot more books and especially my goal is to read um, more books. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all my socials. I love you guys so, so much. Comment down below what other episodes you guys want to see on this series because we are taking care of ourselves. We're putting ourselves first. And also comment down below any other videos you guys want to see from me in general. If it's a reaction video, vlog, let me know. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!